I've actually finished rank 1 quite a few times in FIFA 23 and I think it's really important for me to show you guys how I did. I'm going to give you guys a lot of tips and tricks to help you guys get better finishes in foot champs. Let's get straight into it. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Wake and Mo. Welcome back to another video and we have ourselves a best tips and tricks video for you guys to improve in FIFA 23. Now, champs is very, very sweaty these days guys and team of the year is coming up. So, I would like to give you guys some tips and tricks that help me get rank 1, rank 2 in foot champs and help me get into elite division hopefully this does help you guys out we've got a couple tips and tricks here nothing too crazy but um yeah let me just go straight into it and uh, hopefully you guys do enjoy this video and i appreciate all of the support guys we are nearly at 2400 subscribers so please do keep liking up the videos and keep watching um and keep subscribing if you are new as well make sure you guys subscribe and turn on the post notification bell because team of the year we're gonna be going crazy we're gonna be streaming like non-stop first and foremost guys i feel like this is a very underrated thing but i don't think a lot of people have controller settings on now by controller settings i mean these settings right here that help you in game so i want to just say turn on competitive master switch because this is very very important um this is how it is on ultimate team as well by the way um, through pass assistant we want to have semi guys make sure you guys copy all of this stuff because trust me it's going to help your gameplay a lot more um, through pass assistant semi uh, FIFA trainer hide you don't want trainer on time finishing I like to time finish if you guys don't time finish then turn it off but I highly suggest you guys learn how to time finish in FIFA it's very very important especially for long shots so long shots it is very very good to time finish uh, next player switch indicator off uh, pass block assistance on uh, auto switching on air balls and loose balls um, auto switch and move assistance on low clearance assistance classic player lock off if you guys are extremely good at the game you can guys you guys can turn it on um, a lot of the pros do use player lock so it's up to you um, icon switching off play uh, right stick switching classic I cannot stress this enough guys make sure this is on classic all right and make sure you guys apply more right stick into your gameplay because it does change your whole gameplay trust me uh right stick switch and reference player relative uh ground pass assisted shot assisted cross assisted lob pass assisted uh lob through pass semi um save assisted uh save assistance uh semi uh, analog sprint off um, this is basically when you like the more you run in game and the more tired your players get you'll feel it in your controller you don't want that you don't want that feeling in your controller uh, pass receiver lock late um, user vibration feedback on classic and trigger effect on actually no turn it off trigger effect off guys <laughs> i don't know why it's on but turn it off make sure that's off and also guys i want to show you guys my camera settings as well this is what i use um tele broadcast and then you want to so make sure you change the multiplayer camera to telebroadcast and then you do camera settings you change it from um you change it to from default to custom and then you do 20 height and zero zoom and then you want to turn off the power shot zoom you want to make sure that turns off because every time someone does a power shot the, the, it's just zooming in and you just really don't want that so make sure you have it like that guys all right there's only a couple skills that you really want to use in this game now skills are not exactly as good as they once were especially on next gen um current gen they are still pretty effective so make sure you guys still you know do it on current gen if you are playing current gen but let me show you guys the best skills to use this is gonna be a quick quick tutorial guys if you want more tutorials on skills let me know or you can go and find another channel to watch as well um, but like i said guys if you really do want me to teach you then obviously you guys can let me know in the comments down below so first and foremost we're going to learn how to do an elastico make sure you have a five star skiller right now you have the ball like this guys okay what you want to do is you want to rotate your right stick from uh nine o'clock so imagine a clock you want to rotate it from nine o'clock down to three o'clock anti-clockwise okay so then it's going to look like this so it's going to look like a reverse elastico cool so you, once you get used to this what you guys can then do is add the l1 so if you guys notice here look, i'm holding my controller and i'm just going to run with mbappe and i'm going to press l1 and you guys can see my guy just dead stops right i'm going to do it again l1 stops you can do an, a reverse elastico like this l1 and then you do the normal elastico l1 like that you guys can see how quick it is now there's another skill that i would like to show you guys um lastly like i said there's not a lot of great skills in this game but this is the best skill in the whole entire game guys and it's the most simple skill as well all you need to do is just rotate your right stick from 11 o'clock to one o'clock and your guy will do step overs like that 
And all you have to do is just run out of it. Simple as. Literally simple as, guys. That's all you have to do. <laughs> do step overs and run out of it. And look how quick your player runs. You can do it again. You guys can see I'm off again. Speed boost. And then that's another goal. Just like that, guys. You want to make sure that you apply these two skills to your game. Because trust me, it's going to make a massive, massive difference. All right, guys. We're back in armor team. And we're back in armor team because I want to show you guys the best formations in the game. I'm assuming that you guys are clicking on this video because you want to actually get better at the game. And if you guys want to get better at FIFA, you have to make sure that you use the most meta formations and the most meta players. I already have a video of me use, or me showing off the best meta players in FIFA. So if you guys want to check it out, it's one of my most recent videos. So make sure you guys check it out for the most meta players in the whole game. Um, but the most, the most meta formations in the game for me personally are the 4 triple 2 the 4 2 3 one, and the 4 3 2 one. So I'm going to say that again. The 4 triple 2 the 4 3 2 one, and the 4 2 3 one, right? So you guys can see I have tactics here. Feel free to pause it. I don't want to be doing a custom tactics video. I don't want to be talking here for so long. So just feel free to pause it. These are my 4 2 3 one, um, And then make sure you guys get all of the instructions as well. Like I said, pause it when you guys want and get the instructions from here. Like I said, I'm just going to go through really, really quickly. Not on purpose. I just don't want to have the stretch out this video too long. So those are the 4 2 3 one. This is the 4 3 2 one that I have as well. Make sure you guys have all of these tactics written down or pause the video whenever you want and make sure you guys take this down because these are extremely important to improve your gameplay, guys. Trust me, formations are the most important thing. If you guys have a good formation, you guys will be so stable and um, yeah, you'll just be able to win a lot more games. And yeah, guys, the 4 triple 2 that obviously was interrupted by EA servers, but yeah, this is the 4 triple 2 here. Like I said, just take it down, pause the video, whatever you need to do. Um, I'm not going to try and do this whole long video for only tactics. But yeah, this is what it looks like in game. And um, yeah, make sure you guys take this down. And then lastly, obviously the, the attacking one as well. You want to make sure you have formations for every single situation, guys. Make sure you guys have formations for defending. Um, if you're defending a lead, make sure you have formations if you want to take control of a game. And make sure you guys have formations and tactics for when you're losing in a game. Um, and you want to make sure, like, you know... Just make sure you have one for every scenario. That's what I'm trying to say. All of these pro players, I know obviously not everyone's going to be a professional player and whatnot. But if you guys are actually clicking on this video to get better at the game, then trust me. Make sure you guys use these formations. Right, guys. So, this is defending. As you guys can see here. You guys can see what I'm doing with my controller, right? I'm just defending on purpose, obviously, just to show it off. So, you guys can see that I'm holding L, I mean, L2 and R2 when I'm defending. You guys can see it here, right? Is definitely the best way to um, to play this game. You guys can see here L2 and R2, L2 and R2 again. And when you guys are ready to make the tackle, then you go in for the tackle. And there we go. If you guys also want to add in uh, the teammate press, you guys can hold R1 as well. So you can have two players pressing the ball at once. And that obviously, as you guys can see, it adds a bit more pressure onto the opponent. And you want to make sure that you're not relying on too much of this pressing stuff, of this R1 stuff, because it can get very, very technical. Um, especially when you're playing against a very good opponent. So look, R look, R1 there, and you guys can see my player made an automatic um, interception because he I dragged him over towards me using the R1 press, guys. But anyway, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. I've given out tips on skills. I've given out, given out tips on formations, uh, camera settings, controller settings, and defending. If you guys want more stuff, obviously, there's still a lot more stuff in game. If you guys want more stuff, then please do let me know. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys are getting better at the game and hopefully you guys are saving your packs for team of the year and hopefully you